This is Ken from Maker's Box. I just wanted to do a quick little video, kind of show you my latest project. I just published an instructable on how to use a uh, infrared emitter detector pair to uh, measure the velocity of a Nerf dart as it passes through. And so the instructable is really just about how to build this rig here with this is the emitter and this is the detector. And then uh, I've actually got into a little more advanced project here that I'm still finalizing, but um, you can see the uh, IR shining right there and it's dark plastic too. I've got it so it'll flash. I'm, I'm thinking like a, a muzzle flash and it's uh, Adafruit Itsy Bitsy uh, microcontroller. It's battery powered. Um, it's got a display and it can hook on to the uh, barrel attachment of an end strike blaster like so. And uh, what I've got here is a uh, thrift store uh, rapid strike. I just uh, picked up and uh, I'm gonna just crack it open and start modding putting a lithium battery in it so I uh, I kind of wanted to get a baseline on on how it's shooting right now and I can pretty much guarantee it's not going to be great so this button on the bottom uh, resets it um, so it's just flashing waiting and I'm just gonna fire this uh, it's got uh, dollar store batteries in it and it jams if I try and do the single fire so I'm just gonna try and fire 10 shots here so here we go We got all ten through, um, so it's alternating between the shot count and the uh, velocity in feet per second. So that last dart was 41.3 feet per second, which is certainly not uh, stellar and certainly not awful. But um, and then I can show you. So you saw I had the USB cable hooked up to it, so it's transmitting data over. Serial, and uh, if this doesn't catch it, I'll put a screenshot on there. But you can see uh, I'm getting the first shot was 52 feet per second, and then it dropped down into the 30s as the motors bogged down, and then it kind of started catching back up towards the end of that 41.3. So that kind of gives me a baseline of uh, where I'm starting at, and as I make these different modifications. Um, uh, we'll see if it improves it or how much it improves it. And um, all right, so this is Ken from Makers Box. Thanks for watching.